Hello guys, how are we all doing? I've got another little hardware review today, and that is this. I don't know how well that's gonna see, but this is the UL Valerian tank, and it is an absolute beast. Let me show you. No problem with the clouds whatsoever, there is the. So, do a little unboxing of it, and then I'll go through all my thoughts and features, and go through how it actually performs. So, let me little pause this. So, this is the packaging that the UL Valerian comes in. Give it a nice little 360 view, if you can. On the back, the specifications. Size diameter, it's a 25 millimeter tank, and it is 62.3 millimeter in height. It is a two milliliter tank to comply with TPD, but I'll go into that in a second. The net weight of this tank is 62.63 grams, and it is made out of stainless steel slash copper and Pyrex glass. Everything else that you need to know is on there. What's inside the box? You've got one Valerian atomizer, an extra Pyrex glass. You've got 1.5 volt, 0 0.15 ohm coil pre-installed into it, one 0 0.15 ohm coil inside the box. You've got extra rubber O-rings, you've got an extra drip tip, you've got two extra pins, I'll go into that as well in a second. You've got a user manual and a drip tip cover. So, this tank pops off. Oh, it normally has a little seal around here just to keep it all nice and secure. I wish that it had a little screw on cap so when you finish using it you can put it back in the box and display it as you would. Here's the tank, I'll go through that in a second. Usual TPD warnings, this product contains nicotine. The above warning only applies when the product is used with nicotine containing e-liquid. You get a little atomizer stand in here, which is always a nice little feature to throw in. Got a little instruction manual. Do not frequently open the top cap or level or leave open for a long time to avoid leaking. When using a new coil and then filling the tank, please let the tank sit for eight minutes to avoid coil burning. That's a very specific time. So, you get a little bag of what can only be described as butt plugs, which I'll go into in a second. You get your spare coil and a drip tip tank. A drip tip tank, a drip tip cover inside of here. What else you get inside the box? Get loads, loads and loads of bits. You do get a spare coil. Actually, what's inside there if it's not the coil? That's just the drip tip inside there, isn't it? You get a spare coil. Look at this fella. It is absolutely huge. It's got a single what looks like a parallel coil. I might be wrong in there. And it is made of stainless steel, the actual wire. You get a spare glass and a spare bag of seals. Note that the different color, so we can try and try slightly change this up. Either way, it's got orange seals on it. This is black seals and it's got a 510 adapter. No, it doesn't. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's just, I don't even know what that is. I'll go have a look at that in a second. To fill up the tank, Actually, you get a spare bag of rice that you shouldn't eat, and a spare drip tip and a drip tip cover. I don't want to open these fully because this isn't mine to use and open. It is one that is for sale. You get a warning manual, and you get a user manual in about 15 million different languages, more than likely. So, the tank, the Valerian tank itself, it is absolutely gorgeous. They say it's a two milliliter capacity tank, but it comes with this rubber bung inside it, which you can undo. Sorry guys, it's not a customer in. Um, as I said, it comes with this rubber bung inside it, which you can undo and remove, and it turns your tank into a five milliliter capacity. It has got a three-way Cyclops airflow, which is not opening for me, there it is, and it, only spins, it's got a nice locking feature, so it doesn't round robin. And whatever you do to this side, you also do to this side, and you also do to this side. This tank has got tons and tons and tons of airflow. To fill it up, it's got a nice little switch button. Hold this the right way around so you can all see. And it's got a nice little button, which clicks open and pops up. And you've got two kidney bean shaped filling holes, which is nice because you can fit your normal dripper 
bottles then you can fit your screw off bottles and you can fit your normal chubby gorilla bottles into it it has got at the bottom unscrew it close that back up Coil, just unscrew the coil to change it. You just unscrew the bottom, unscrew this, and as I said about the two different airflows, I am just gonna have to open this. If anyone wants to buy this one, I'll throw a little bit of a discount on it because it has been opened. Comes with these little book, what can I only describe as book plugs, which are supposed to change the flavor and the airflow on the actual, on your actual vape. Me, myself, I've been using this one on my tank and I've not noticed any difference in the air, in the flavour but it does slightly change the airflow. For me, if you're using the one that comes pre-installed into it, which doesn't actually have anything, let me grab a pen just to pop it out, which doesn't actually have any kind of butt plug, it's just a flat base for your 510 connector. For me, it's too airy, like, it's ridiculous, it's like, opening the door on an aeroplane trying to vape this at 100 watts, it just doesn't work. But then you've also got these two, which you just install, push it down on the inside and put your coil back on the top. And it's a little butt plug for your coil. And this one as well. As I say, I myself have not noticed any difference in the flavor between these, but there is a slight difference in the airflow. When I say slight difference in the airflow, I've not noticed anything between these two, but if you're using one of these, over the one that comes pre-installed and there is a massive difference in the airflow the coils the actual coils are absolutely huge and they're quite decent they've got a lot of flavor inside them um, and it has i don't know if you can see this on here but it's got a little minimum line because obviously if you vape down below this line the top of your coils are going to start getting dry which is and then they're going to burn out a little bit faster so that's pretty much everything that comes in the Valerian. I'm going to take it back up top and then we are going to go through all the pros and cons and everything else of this tank. So I'll see you all in about two seconds up top, guys. So we are back up top with the UL Valerian. I'm running it on my Dove Pole Trigger 168. Right, I think because I can actually see it now, you might be able to see the maximum fill line. If that's gonna focus in, you can just about see it just there, just above my big fat sausage finger. Um, as I say, once it goes down below that lid, that line, your coils will start drying out, you'll start getting dry hits. But keep it above that, I've not noticed any dry hit problems on this tank whatsoever. Um, it is a five milliliter tank without the bung removed, that's what it looks like without the bung. I'm not gonna do it with that because TPD, thank you. Thank you. Um, what else was I going to say? I've lost my train of thought now. The coils themselves, they are rated at 95 to 120 watts. And the actual butt plugs that go inside it, as I said earlier, they slightly change what wattage you can use this on. And it says on the base of it, I don't know if you can see. Can you? No. But the one that's just a two bell butt plug, it is 100 to 120 watts and the one that is like a corkscrew is 95 to 105 watts and that does make a difference on these tanks like you can feel it once i put the one that i use in this corkscrew one once you go over like 105 maybe i can maybe get it to 110 you do start getting a little bit of a burn taste because the airflow is not circulating around the coil properly at the high of a wattage but without it, I've used this tank like 140 watts just to see what it's like with the one that comes pre-installed, just a little flathead one. But, go through the flavours, go through everything. Starting this off at 95 watts, and I have got, what have I got in here? I've got Bad Blood by Nasty Juice in here, and it is a really, really nice blackcurrant tea liquid. Nice one, Nasty Juice. So, 95 watts, as you've seen a little couple of seconds ago, it has got no problem sucking the clouds whatsoever. <coughs> Pardon me. If you do choose to prefer, if you do choose to prefer, if you prefer, you can use this at a little bit of a low wattage, and I'll prove this to you. Let's take it to 70 watts, and it's still got decent flavour. It's got no problem with the clouds whatsoever, if that's what you like. 
and I'll show you right now. So 70 watts. Oh, I can't even see. I need to get a better camera, don't I? Right, 70 watts on the Valerian. Still really cloudy, still got loads of flavour. But you do get a better flavour around the 1995 watt mark up to the 105 watt mark and it is absolutely perfect. So, it's a five milliliter capacity tank. It is really easy just to fill it up and I have not noticed any dry hitting issues. I've not noticed any leaking issues through this. You might think if you drop it, it'll pop off and it'll leak everywhere. I've had this tank for about four, five, maybe six months now. No leaking issues whatsoever apart from when I over my coils and it all comes off to the bottom. But apart from that, not noticed anything whatsoever. It is the coils themselves you really like fruity liquids, like fruity liquids, all your high fruity sweet liquids, go for it. I've noticed myself, I prefer cake liquids, like I like prefer donuts, I prefer cakes, I prefer jam on toast, man, do you know what I mean? But inside this tank, it kills the flavour off, it is not a tank designed for cakey flavours, unfortunately, but if you're into your fruity flavours, go for it, this tank is what you want. Unfortunately, as I said, cakey flavours are not a good, so that is a massive con. But, for fruity flavours, the flavour is absolutely phenomenal. It is almost identical to an RDA, but come cakey flavours, it's not its friend whatsoever. I'm not trying to add anything tobacco over you or anything else like that for it, but I can imagine that would be in a deep, dense, rich flavour. i got a feeling that it's not going to like tobacco flavours either. Menthols, I've not tried menthols for it, but I can imagine menthols to be okay because it's quite a sharp flavour. It doesn't like its deep, dense flavours. So, 95 watts, I'm going to bump it up to uh, 100. When the airflow is wired open on this tank, it is quite a noisy tank. It's, but it's got three massive, massive, massive airflow options on it. So, of course it's going to be a noisy tank. So I'm just going to close it over a little bit. Alright, it's all juicy. I'm going to close it over about a third. What have I done? Went into my menus. I don't know how well this camera picks up sound, but it's a hell of a lot quieter with the airflow slightly closed and then I'll do it a fully open now see if you can notice any difference the cloud production the flavour is absolutely amazing on this tank you can't beat it it is not a cheap tank and you're not paying for a cheap tank the quality in the build and the materials in this tank is absolutely amazing it has got stainless steel wire inside the coils and it is brilliant on temperature control mode, obviously depending on what device that you are using for temperature control mode. Dovepo trigger has got decent temperature control mode, some devices don't. Um, nothing else really you can say about this, is the... The actual coils, they last for a good while. I I generally get about a week and a half before I've got to change the coils out on this, and that is through quite heavy use. After three, four, maybe maybe four days at the most, the flavour does start dropping off, but that is to be expected if you are chain vaping at 100 watts on anything whatsoever. The flavour does drop off a little bit, but the coil is still fresh for a good couple more days. Um, and the flavour is absolutely amazing on this tank when it comes to fruity flavours, come to cakey flavours, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again, come to cakey flavours the flavour does die considerably off it, it tastes muddled, it tastes a bit mucky so that does affect my rating on this tank quite substantively so, the UL Valerian, absolutely gorgeous tank, if you like tanks, I am not generally a tank fan but this tank is alright, come to fruity flavours, the flavour is phenomenal 
I have said that a million billion times so far this video, but it is absolutely perfect. The actual drawer on it, the vape off it is really nice, it is very, very satisfying. Even with a cakey flavour, it's a nice vape, it's a nice hit on the back of your throat. <coughs> Pardon me, oh, I'm so burpy today. Cheap energy drinks for you, isn't it? Um, the airflow is really nice and wide, it's got tons and tons and tons of airflow, so it is a cloud trucker. It is an absolute cloud trucker of a tank. And some people are properly into that, and if you are, this tank's probably for you if you like your cakey flavours. As a rating out of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this tank a 7. No, yeah, a 7. If the cakey, if the coils like cakey flavours and desserty flavours a little bit more, the tank could be a 9 out of 10. 5 millilitre capacity, once you take that bung out, perfect, absolutely perfect. Um, Coils, decent life on the coils, you can't complain. Coils are quite expensive, like four pound to five pound, maybe six pound, depending on where you buy it. The tank itself is somewhere around the 35 to 45 mark, depending on where you buy it as well. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. So, my name is Bobo. This is the Vapory Liverpool. We are quite a new shop open to the Crosby area of Liverpool, hence the Vapory Liverpool. Um, we've been open nine weeks tomorrow, which is nice, and we're doing pretty well so far, so far so good, and we cannot complain. The YouTube is going very well. Um, if you like our videos, guys, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe. There'll be links here and other videos up here eventually, probably around now where the video is. I don't know. But, and there's also going to be links down below to when to our Facebook, our Instagram, and eventually when it's set up to our website where you can purchase any of the items that we review onto there. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers for tuning in. Stay cloudy. You well, Valerian, on the dog pole trigger. One final cloud check before I cut it off and go make a cup of coffee. It is one hell of a cloudy tank. Nice one, guys. I'll see you all soon.